up, you guys? It's Drewing. You know what time it is today. We're going to be doing Marlon Hofstadt style, DJ Daddy Trance style, sort of like it's that time type of raw, deep, driving trance. This stuff is super popular right now, and it's actually not that hard to make. Today, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know. To go along this video, you can get the full template, samples, MIDI, presets, project file, everything from this video is available at the top of the description on my website. Definitely go grab that. I promise you won't regret it. It'll help you make the best driving trance track of your life today right now thank you so much for the support everybody every little bit helps and let's dive in all right here we are we're at 145 bpm first thing we got here is our synth kick So this is a 909 kick which I synthesized using Operator. Operator is actually really good for synthesizing drums, not only because of the pitch envelope, but also this phase three trigger here. So basically the phase being like where you are on the sample, you want your kick to be the same thing every time so it's nice and punchy. And this re-trigger will make sure that it starts at the same phase every time and you will have the same kick every time. So we got that. We got a little bit of FM from another sine wave as well. You can hear it adds punch. And then we have the other secret, which is the filter. So here's without that. With it, you can hear it's a lot punchier. We got a soft shaper, and then we're actually high passing it. And that is a big part of what makes it punchy. Then we got the pitch envelope. So to do a kick, what you need is you need a two tier pitch envelope. You have this, where this is kind of like the transient. And then this is how you get the body of the kick. You can see, like, if you get rid of that transient, it's not really a kick anymore. And if you get rid of the body, same, same deal. So you have those both. And you can honestly synthesize pretty hard kicks like this pretty easily. We're cutting out a little bit of sub, converting it to mono, and then we got our kind of top layer for the kick as well. So if we put those together, it just makes it click a little more. You want these kicks in this genre to be very clicky, so yeah, this is the exact same patch. I actually made it a little bit shorter though, as you can see. Uh, it's the same stuff though, only difference here is we're cutting out a lot of the low end, distorting it, cutting more low end, and then converting it to mono, and then you get a nice layer to add some punch to the kick. Then we get the bass line. So yeah, we're in G sharp here. You can see it's an eighth note, but it's not quite touching the end. I think it's very important. You want these to not touch the kick. Right? Like as soon as that starts to go over into where the kick is. See, it's a lot less groove. So you just keep that nice and tight. For the actual sound, it's made with wavetable. What we're doing here is we have this freak wavetable, we have a sub oscillator, and then we have a saw wave. They're all at the same octave. I like using the different wavetables. You don't even need to move the wavetable position. It's just the fact that it's using this waveform that's a little different. It's kind of like a saw wave. or I, To me, it sounds like a square wave, honestly. But it's like a little different, right? And it can really give you a lot of nice textures for the bass because I noticed these basses, it is like that classic trans pluck bass, but it's not just saw waves alone that are creating that sound you hear in these tracks. We got a low pass filter with a nice punchy envelope on it. We got an EQ just cutting out some sub, converting everything to mono. And then we have our hi-hats. So yeah, I'm using 909 core kit here. We're side chaining this, a little bit of a high pass filter. I've got this 808 clap. So you can see like a lot of drum machine sounds, even the kick is a, that I synthesized is meant to be a 909. You know, you get these grooving and then you can bring in all this other stuff. Like then we got this rave loop. Just some chick 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 but you can hear it, what it's really adding to the drums really brings that to life and gives it something that's not just those same drum machine sounds right it's all about the contrast then we got this stab So the way we're doing this is it's playing G sharp, right? The same note as the bass line. It is using wavetable. We got two layers. So we got this one. 
and this one. They're kind of like very similar patches, right? You can see they both have a ton of unison, and they also have the same pitch envelope. There's like this little envelope on the pitch. That's what's making it like that screech. Right, and then they're both going through a bit of erosion, a bit of pedal, so here's without that. With it, right, you can see delay, side chain, and then high pass, and it's just a nice little hard style step to sit over top of this stuff. Because with this kind of trance, you're not going to have so many, like, arps and leads and all that kind of stuff. Then we got this vocal. So I was trying to get that like it's that time type of groove. You can hear it's it's a really like syncopated on the eighth note. It's like it's that dun 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 dun, dun, dun you know. And that's really creating a lot of groove against this really rigid trance beat, right? So what I'm doing here is we're just cutting a little bit of high end so it's not so like sizzly. Then we're distorting it, delay, side chain, and then high pass. And then the last thing is this little vocal. Which is meant to kind of fit before the stab. It's like... Like you can hear there's a lot of rhythm between those. And then you put the other vocal with both of those. You know, even without the drums, there's a lot of tension and release happening here in these. So all this has is just a little high pass, a little bit of delay, right? Really simple, but it just gives you a nice... on top of the beat. And there you are. So this type of trance, you know, it's really more about just make the elements as powerful as they can be. And you can see they'll mix themselves because there's not really any clashing things here. Again, it's not like the type of trance you might be used to where you have to try to make all the synths fit together. So there it is. As you can see, it's not actually that hard, you know, as far as mixing goes. It's really all the elements pretty much mix themselves because it is so simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like this video as well as subscribe and let me know what you think this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get this full template at the top of the description on my website. Definitely go grab that, guys. Don't miss out while it's available. It's the best thing you can do today to make an awesome, hard-driving trance track. Thanks for the support, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow with another video.